Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I am going to be unboxing these Strike Witch figures. So I went ahead and picked these up despite only seeing the first three episodes of Strike Witches. I don't know tons about the series, all I can tell you is that these are girls who have some sort of magical ability. When they use that magical ability, animal parts come out of their butts and their heads, they get like little ears, and they have planes strapped to their legs, they fight aliens. I, I think that's the basic premise of the entire show. There is a lot of fan service, lots of crotch shots and stuff like that, but um, to me I always found fan service to just be a hilarious concept in anime, so I quite get it, like a kick out of it, I think it's hilarious. And I overall decided to get these because not only do I like their designs, they also just apparently tank in the aftermarket, at least the majority of them do. Every single one of these I got for $15 or less. Now. For the record, these are all scale figures, so it's kind of insane. And when I was looking these up, because I decided, I was like, oh, let me look on AmiAmi Ami before I film this, because if you do not know, I am very cheap when it comes to figure collecting, as cheap as I can be. And because of that, I choose the cheapest shipping. I don't get my shit for months at a time. So because of that, I wasn't exactly sure maybe they went up in the aftermarket, but no, not so much. Other than, I believe, this one, which I didn't see on AmiAmi Ami pre-owned. These two are still extremely cheap, so if you're interested in them, uh, go ahead and pick them up. I do know that at least one of these is in C condition, by the way, because it was just missing its instruction pamphlet. And I'm not opposed to buying broken figures and then fixing them, so there's a possibility that more than one of them is going to have damage, but I will go ahead and obviously we'll figure that out together. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and start with the two Erica's because they are the same character. So this is Erica Hartman. That's another thing about Strike Witches. They're all names that pay homage to real pilots. So yeah, that's pretty neat. This one is by Alter and this one is by Kotobukiya. Because the other one that I have is also Alter, I figure we'll start with the Kotobukiya one. So here is her box. I like that it has like see-through on both sides, you know, for fan service points. You gotta be able to see that butt through the back. It's, it's necessary. It's actually a requirement for Strike Witch figures. <laughs> Overall, I really like this box design. It's not one that I'll keep. I don't collect boxes unless I really, really, really like the box. Um, but it's a cute design, I guess. And I tend to like Kotobukiya figures, so I expect to like this one. She is the one that's missing her instruction pamphlet. So she was the C-rated condition um, on Ami Ami just because she was missing that, because it's technically considered a missing piece, even though it's literally the instructions. And I'm not too worried about that. She seems to be pretty self-explanatory, right? Now watch me break it, try and figure out how to put it together. I actually saw these figures in someone else's collection and I was like, oh, they look really cute. And she actually had some uh, Girls and Panzer figures as well. I mentioned this chick in one of my other videos too. In my Unpopular Opinions video, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But I still can't remember how to say her name. Can't remember it for the life of me. I think it's in all caps. That's about as much as my brain will. <laughs> She's got a nice, gun here. Don't ask me what anything's called. Don't ask me what these leg things are. I don't- I assume that they're- you know what? Let's not hold her by her head. Here she is. She looks cool. I think she was like 13 minus bucks. Like she was less than 13 bucks. If I speak like a normal human being, she was less than 13 bucks. Magnetic hat. Always a plus. And that hides the hair seam very well. Yeah, I really like her design. I guess she doesn't have animal ears. She has her little tail. I think she's supposed to be a dog girl, maybe? <laughs> this figure comes with a lot of pieces. Oh, and she is a 1 8 scale, which I come to realize, I think I like 1 8 the best. So these must come off. Yeah, so we can put the propellers. Yeah, 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 all right. So I'm gonna put this little clear piece first. And then I'm going to put the propeller part on top of it, so that way it looks like it has some motion. At least that's how my brain's telling me I should do it. Easy pe- Not easy peasy? That sucks. We're going to just do one then. We'll do the normal propeller piece then. I just assume you're probably supposed to go ahead and do one or the other, but we'll do the little 
stationary propellers for now. Let's go ahead and put her gun in her hand to the best of our abilities. It kind of looks a little scary, so I'm just kind of cramming it in here. Again, she's so cheap, I'm not too worried about breaking her. And honestly, that looks to be what you have to do. You just kind of, her arm's like a little bit flexible, which is very good. So according to the side of the box, so this hand's supposed to go under there, but it takes some maneuvering it seems, but it's definitely doable. Her plastic is very malleable. I'm very um, surprised, impressed, happy about that. Again, I'm very happy about the magnet. magnet. The magnet's really strong on the top too. And paint wise, I'd say she looks really good. I really like her. I got her because I like her design. So it came with this little piece right here. And I realized that on the back of her little plane parts, you can take these little nubs off. So you can put this, this is the one that was in there. It has a little hole, right? For the stand. And then they have one that doesn't have the stand, which is funny because I actually kind of have a plan with these. I'll get to that at the end though, because it's kind of exciting. But if you don't want to put her on the stand, you can actually put this and that covers up that hole. And then I guess you just have to get it back out, which doesn't seem like it might be easy to do. So we're going to utilize the knife and pry it out of there a little bit and try not to cut our fingers off per usual. Here is her base, by the way. I really like the base. I think it's really pretty. Plastic see-through, but it's got that cool design on it. And we can go like that. Huh. Well, I feel like she's secure. It looks kind of scary. I'm not going to lie but I don't feel like she's going anywhere. I feel like she takes up a lot of space though, if you're gonna use her on her base, and you can move that. So she doesn't have to look like she's tilting. That's just the way I had had it. So I think overall she looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the other Erica to see if we like her more. 
because they were about the same price. I think the one was like 13, which would be this one, and then I think the other one was like 15. So we'll have to see which one's better. Both Alter and Cody Bukia pretty much did all of the girls. I say that, but I, I don't know like really <laughs> all the characters because again, I haven't seen the entire show or anything. This is the box. Now this one's interesting because it actually comes with two like uh, halves of her. If th that doesn't make any sense. An extra torso? <laughs> That's English. Ooh, she smells bad. Now these were all pre-owned, but she is it just the box? Oh, the inside of the box doesn't smell good. So what's interesting about this is that it comes with two extra whole halves of her. So you have the version of her saluting and then the version of her looking like she's gonna like fight. So let's go ahead and cut all the tape off. Oh, she's cool. So her propellers already come attached. You can wing them around, which is a lot of fun. I like that because, you know, they're not gonna come across, come off. Though, again, I like the look of the stationary propeller. She has a ton of dust on her. Oh my gosh. I like the finish on the plane parts a lot more. I actually think the plane parts are done way better on this one. The plane parts have a name. You in the comments can go ahead and tell me what the heck they're called because I do not remember. The cool thing about getting both these figures is that their facial expressions are extremely different than one another. Now her gun comes in more pieces than she is. Actually, this looks like it's going to be a real pain in the butt. Hold on. So we have, oh, we have a metal rod for her base. Her base is definitely nowhere near as cool as the other one's base. That feels like a pop-up parade base. This feels like a higher quality plastic that has like maybe a little bit of give to it, but it obviously doesn't need it because it's a base. Oh, she did come with propeller pieces. So this does come off. I didn't feel like she felt like she could. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. All right, let's put the propeller pieces on like that. These are also nicer, for sure. Let's go ahead and put her gun together. Her gun is in so many pieces. Thank God they have direction. For the gun, there is actually this really, really, really tiny indent in the grip where you actually attach the sling, which is pretty interesting. Like I, at first when I looked at it, I was like, oh, is this broken? Like, did it not have a piece? It's actually really hard to see unless you're looking like really close at it. I think both the reasons the gun's so in, in so many pieces, it's just very customizable. So you have two different ways to display her if you want. You can either have her hold the gun, which is when you would have her doing her saluting pose. For that pose, you do not need this little plastic piece on top of the gun because this piece is if you want to have her like this and put the gun on her back. So you put it, there's a little hole on her back. So that way she could have it behind her. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll do that pose first. I was thinking that, you know, being this customizable is a little overkill, but now realizing why it's the way it is, it's actually really neat. Let's say we want to keep her like this. We're going to do the longer strap. You put this on her back. It doesn't go all the way flush into her back or anything. Then you wrap this around her and over to the grip where you then attach that. This is really causing me difficulty though. I don't know why. And I'm afraid I'm gonna break the plastic at this point. 
because I'm just not being gentle. Oh no, that was such a small piece. Oh, the top of the gun just fell. Why? Got that on. Let's just shove her on the base. And then I will look for this piece. Where does her rod go? Alrighty. Oh my. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay. That's scary. So again, I'm missing the front piece of her gun. Just ignore that for a moment. Um, yeah, I mean, I think she's on there just fine, considering the rod. She's not too heavy. I think it's just that the base is such lightweight plastic that it feels wrong. Move her over to the side, gotta carpet surf and find her a uh, piece of her gun. Be right back. We're all good now. So here she is terrifying me that she's just gonna fall out of my hand. Overall again, definitely think she's the way to go. Let's go ahead and change her into the other pose and then we will put them together since those poses are kind of the more similar to each other rather than this. Yep. All right, that's super easy to do. Just pop her right off, pop her right back on, goes in pretty well, pretty sturdy, not scary, oh my god, she looks so cute in this pose, you just wait till you see her face, she looks adorable. It says in order to get the gun in, we have to take her one arm off, like so, and we just kind of put her arm here, get this all set up first which is easy peasy and then we pop her back on the one side of the sling is thicker than the other so the thicker part goes towards the butt of the gun and the smaller one goes up near the barrel and it looks like it just attaches to the underside where it is split because this itself this loop up front is not split but the gun barrel is. And we switch out this top piece, because again, we don't need the little plastic piece because it doesn't need to stick into her back. So we can go ahead and swap that out. And put that back on the gun. And stick her back here. That was a way easier pose. And I think I like this one more. Because again, I, first of all, I just really like her hat and I love that she's saluting. I think it looks so cute. So overall, this definitely takes up a lot more space though because you have the gun facing forwards versus it just being her with her arms back. So I guess it would be more of a space issue. Again, I think that the base is just not as good as this base on the bottom, but holding it up by the metal looks so much better. So comparison, here they are. They're both one eighth. They're both very cute. For sure, altered beat out Kotobukiya here. The facial expression, the plain parts look like a million times better. Just everything looks better. Her hair is actually different colors, but I prefer it in the altered version. Even the insignia on the hats, actually, that's, I think, the best way to describe the difference in quality of these two. The Eagle looks so much crisper on the Alter one than the Kotobukiya one. So definitely, if you're interested in picking these up, pick up the Alter one. It, like, everything's just better. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's how the whole line is. So unless there's an Alter one that's like super expensive, highly recommend just getting the Alter version and not the Kotobukiya one, which it kind of pains me. I really like Kotobukiya as a company, and this this figure is fine, it's beautiful, but unless you like this pose better, there's no reason to get it over this one because they're extremely close in price and they're both extremely cheap. I guess you could just go ahead and get both if you really felt like it, like how I did. I got both because I wanted to see which line was better, and I, I got my answer. You all joined me on this adventure to see which is best, so I also just noticed mine has a huge smudge on the leg. Oh, never mind. Scrape that right off. Oh wait, no, it's back. Wait, what? Oh, it's like a chip in the paint and so I pushed the paint chip back up so it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Even the bat the butt of the gun on this one has like a texture to it, whereas this is smooth. It's just there's extra details. I also have to say that with the Kotobukiya one, 
the plain parts, there is a seam right down the side here, which doesn't look bad, but it's not here on the altar one. And I feel like because the plain parts are separated, like as they should be to show like different plates of metal, it looks like they took that concept and they were like, oh, we don't have to fix the seam then because you know, it's just gonna have a bunch of lines in it anyways. Whereas this one, they didn't rely on that. You can tell that all the little panels in the metal are different. None of them rely or um, follow a seam line right up. overall this this is the way to go alter one's the way to go so i'm really happy to say that the other one that i have to unbox next is alter as well all right so here we have last but not least hannah justina marcel lee or marcel i'm not really sure i got her the alter version because i liked her pose more so i'm so happy i ended up liking the alter ones more the box again has the back open as we discussed that's a must <laughs> but yeah, overall, I just really liked this pose. I thought it looked like a really cool figure. This was actually the figure that made me decide I was gonna get a Strike Witch. She looks so neat. I have no idea who this character is. I kind of seen her. I don't know much because again, I haven't gotten very far in it. This one's from season two, I think. So because of that, I, no clue, no clue. I might even hate her in the future, who knows? She has her directions too. I'm glad I got the directions. Can you imagine if the one that didn't have the directions was the alter one for that? Holy crap. The, that would have been... 
I would have been doomed. Let's see what we got here. She even has extra little plastics on her. Look at her looking all fancy. Oh my. Okay, yep, this is this is another C condition one. <laughs> I'll show you why in a second. It's like a rusted piece of metal. Oh, well, that's strange. No. That's where the smell's coming from. But no, that was the other one that smelled. This one smelled too. No, this one's fine. But that piece kind of smells like what that other box smelled like. It's just rust. It's not like anything gross, but I'm kind of confused as to what exactly is going on. I don't know if you can see the dust right here. It's like super fuzzy. <laughs> I don't care. My figures get dusty. I, I'm bad with it. I'm bad with it. I understand. Some of us don't have time to dust. We have much more important things to do. So let's go ahead and take her pieces off. I wonder if these came from the same person. That's why they're super dusty. <laughs> right? Who knows? Did that come off of... I got a random piece of paint that doesn't match anything except for the boxes. Whatever. So I like these better. Whatever. Whatever. She looks good though. I don't so much care about the rusty little piece of metal as long as I don't get tetanus from it. I think I have my tetanus shot. <laughs> We're all gonna home. Nah. I doubt they had it buried in the freaking soil. So that'd be very interesting, don't you think? You can take her head off. I don't need to. But you can take her arm off. Put her gun here. Her arm has some sort of residue on the stuff there. I don't know what the heck is going on with this figure. I don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on. I totally missed the gun. Oh, I'm a little tired. All right, so just like with the other one, you take it off, you put this on. Like, this is ridiculously dusty, though. Holy crap, holy. That's why this was C condition, because, oh my goodness. I don't even I don't even know what I got her for. It was probably super cheap, though, because last I looked, I think she was up right now. B condition, 16 bucks. So, yeah, like that. Then we got push her arm back in there and then this piece of the gun goes in her other hand like that you shove that in there no big deal okay so the terribly rusty or whatever thing goes like that Ew. I guess the humidity could cause it to rust right I'm just trying to think of like how you let that happen <laughs> how does that happen Oh my lord, this is scarier than the last one. I feel like that's not right. <laughs> I think I put that in backwards. I had to have. She looks fine. It's literally just that piece. But again, her box wasn't the one that smelled. That one was. But it's the same exact weird smell. I have no idea. Whatever. Whatever. She looks good. I'm glad I got her. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth the price. She obviously isn't as customizable because she doesn't have as much going on in regards to like a hat and stuff. But overall, I think she looks super good. I really love her hair sculpt. I think that is probably the most amazing thing. Again, the bases suck, which ain't any big deal to me.
overall I definitely recommend these if you're even just like a casual Strike Witches fan. They are super nice, specifically the altar ones. I think it's only right that we make them fly. So my thought is right here, right above me, they will fly. They will be hanging from the ceiling looking like they're either fighting my Godzilla poster or looking like they're fighting Reiner, which my Reiner isn't up there. It's kind of hard to see right now, but I think that that is just, it's, it's what they're meant to do. It's what they're meant to be, right? I mean, neither of those are aliens, but you get my point. Like, they should fly. So, especially considering that we're having trouble with the bases over here, right? And this base, as cool as it looks, this, this is, this is, this rod is an eyesore. <laughs> Let's be real. So I'm going to have a little project and we're going to go ahead and do this together and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I look forward to it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing. If you made it this far, please go ahead and subscribe. I mostly collect Girls and Fans are right now, but obviously I'm collecting whatever really floats my boat. If you want to go ahead and see what else I collect, I got a whole bunch of videos up at this point. If you want to go ahead down the rabbit hole that is my channel and my strange collection, my strange addiction. <laughs> anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye!